Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. And uh, as you might be able to see, it is a great day for us at CW57 because we have cheese here. And I'm joined by Heather Porter Engwall, who is from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Thanks so much for, ha for, uh, for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yes, and um, thank you for bringing this great spread. It looks wonderful, and the smell is just awesome. And if, if you haven't figured it out, I'm a huge cheese fanatic. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board and, and what exactly you guys do. Sure. Well, we were funded over 20 years ago. Um, as a nonprofit, um, we're funded by the dairy farm families of the state with really one main mission, and that is to increase demand for not only consumption, but also um, awareness for dairy products, uh, particularly Wisconsin cheese. 90% uh, of the milk that's produced here in the state actually goes into cheese making. Wow. So as an organization, we spend a lot of our time and, and energy and effort um, working with all anyone who really is interested in, in learning more and, and promoting cheese. Um, we work with chefs from around the country, retailers, um, and then of course we, we create a lot of pieces and awareness for consumers um, to um, utilize cheese in their recipes and their day-to-day -day life, um, but then also for pairings and holiday entertaining like, like this. Right on. So how can people support um, Wisconsin dairy products during the holidays? Well, it's really easy. Um, you know, a to create a cheese board like this um, can be really, really simple, but um, it can really impress, you know, your guests and your friends and family. Mm -hmm. I, for one, travel uh, during the holiday season, so it's nice for me to take uh, cheese like this and accompaniments to share with my friends and family without having to make something ahead and then worry about, you know, traveling with it and, um, and, and this is just a really nice, nice thing to do. Um, you can also utilize, you know, this in your everyday life, um, including real dairy products is a, is a, is a great way to um, be healthy and be smart about the chooses you food, the food you choose it, you f the food you choose. <laughs> um, but, you know, holiday entertaining with Wisconsin cheese can be a really, really nice way to um, showcase dairy to your friends and family. Absolutely, and uh, especially those folks who maybe come from outside of the state. Um, I know everybody loves to come to Wisconsin, especially if they're not even from the Midwest, to, to try that Wisconsin cheese. That's Squeaky right. cheese curds and yeah. so forth. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you talked a little bit about pairing uh, earlier. What's the best way to pair Wisconsin cheese with, uh, with other foods and beverages? Well, I always say the best pairing is one that tastes good. So, people, you know, think there's a, a, some science to it, mm -hmm. and really there's not. Um, I encourage people to really kind of taste their way through um, some, some of the ideas that they might want to try. Um, to put together a cheese board like this, you're going to want to select three to five cheeses. Mm -hmm. Usually use um, between three and five ounces per person per cheese. Um, and you can also go to your local grocery store. Um, we have great specialty retailers here in the state. Fromagination is here in Madison, mm -hmm. uh, Metcalf's. And actually ask the cheesemonger to let you sample and help you guide through um, which cheeses to select for your, for your entertaining. Cheesemonger, is, mm -hmm. is that a thing? It is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a title on a business card. That's great. <laughs> wow, I want that title. Um, tell me a little bit more about your, uh, your online digital magazine, which is called Great Pear Share. Yeah, so a few years ago, um, we decided to create a magazine really devoted to cheese. And to date, we have over 20 million um, views on the magazine. 20, over 20 wow. million people have seen it. We create a new issue um, about three or four times a year. Um, you can visit eatwisconsincheese.com to see the most recent one. Uh, we partner with bloggers and cheese experts to create some really great seasonal, um, on-trend recipes for us. And really, the, the highlight is cheese. Um, so 50 pages of recipes, pairing ideas, um, all kinds of great ways to utilize Wisconsin cheese. Awesome, awesome. Well, we can't go anywhere until um, we've, I've had the opportunity to try one of these. So Great. tell me, um, w if I'm going to start anywhere, where should I start? Where do you think I should start? Well, usually you want to start with a more mild flavor. So I would actually start with this bandage cheddar here. This um, right here? Yep. So okay. Wisconsin has over 600 variety styles and types of cheese that we produce here. So mm. really, it's endless. This mm. one in particular, um, we're known for our cheddar. We're mm -hmm. the number one cheddar producing state. and. Um, this one was cave aged and it's got some raw milk in it, so it's, it's really nice and flavorful. It's very flavorful. And as you kind of work your way around the cheese, you want to start with the youngest um, or mildest flavor and then work your way up. So we have a, a 10 year old cheddar, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, another raw milk, raw strain cheese, and then a cheddar blue. Awesome, awesome. 
Heather, uh, Heather Porter Engwall, thank you so much for joining us. Eat cheese this holiday season. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town. Great. Thanks.